Oh, look at that, so elegant, such finesse. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted and today we're checking out yet another robot pack designed for children. Yes, I'm nearly 30, but for some reason I'm still checking out robot kits which are designed for five years plus. So this is the Robo Wonderkind Explorer Lite and we actually checked out one of these back in 2018, but this is their latest version which has had a few software updates and a few extra tweaks to the design. And apparently it's now better than ever. So they gave us one to check out on the channel and they also gave us one to give away. So be sure to stick around until the end of this video to find out how you could bag yourself one of these. I like the way that on the top of the box it shows the three different softwares that you can get to use with the Robo Wonderkind and the hardest one is still designed for ages 8 plus and what are the chances it's still going to be too hard for me? Quite high considering my track record of building robots on this channel. So they've actually released a total of three Explorer kits and this one is the smallest one. It's the most bare bones one that they've got. I think the most expensive one is actually quite big and comes with its own LED display. So you can have like a little face on it and stuff like that. But the great thing is that if you had two kits, you can merge them together. You can use different sensors. You can make them bigger. Honestly, I don't really want to give this one away. I kind of just want to open it up and make an even bigger robot, but no, I'm sticking to it. I'm giving it away. So there's really not that many parts in this kit. You've got the wheels. We've got a couple of smart motors, which I'm pretty sure are just servo motors. We've got a distance sensor, the main block, an LED light, and a button. Then you have a cable. You've got your connectors, a micro USB for charging, and a tiny crowbar. All in all, doesn't really feel that much different to the kit that we tried out two years ago. But it's fine, because I no longer have that kit anymore, and I kind of wanted another one because I want to do a robot fighting tournament at some point, and I need a third contender. And look who it is, the third contender. In the module guide you can see all the different modules that you can get. You've got a line follower, a motion detector, an accelerometer, a light sensor, and those are all parts that you get in the bigger kits but this is the starting kit so you don't get as much. So let's start with the Robo Blockly app which is the hardest one. I feel like I'm old enough to tackle something designed for eight-year-olds. Shouldn't be a problem. Does this thing have battery? Yes. And straight away pops up, hit connect, Good to go. Right, now we can start putting things together. I remember the old app looking quite clean, but this is even cleaner. So on the app, you've got five different builds to follow along with. So you can have the most complicated one, which is the obstacle avoider, or you can go super simple and start with a welcome project. I'm going to start with a welcome project. Why not? Let's keep it easy. And then once you've selected the build that you want to make, it shows you which parts you need and how to connect them. And you can also move around the 3D model in the app to see exactly where things are meant to connect. That's a good looking 3D model. It's even got lighting effects on it. That's actually quite surprising. Most of the instructions that you get for these robot kits aren't exactly the best designed. I mean, they're fine, they do the trick, but they've really gone the extra mile with this one. So for this one, we just need the main block, slap a connector onto the bottom, add a motor, add a tire, and the LED light. And then straight away, it comes up with some pre-built code, which you can customize and make your own, or just keep it as it is, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So we just hit play. So obviously, Quite a simple build, it just spins, flashes lights, and makes sounds. But the kids like it apparently. So if we customize the sound, I can change it to cat. Now it just sounds like it's shooting cats. Set speed. I want speed to max. Nine, 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 nine. Maximum speed is a hundred. Okay, let's do that. I don't know why, I thought 100 was gonna be way faster than that. Build magic number. I don't know what that means, but okay. So some of the parts that you connect in the main block are a bit tricky to get out, like this connector right here. I can imagine myself breaking a nail trying to get this out, but luckily they provide a little crowbar or this handy dandy little clamp. So you just hook it around the connector, give it a squeeze, pull. Okay, I have no idea what this one's meant to do. Let's just follow the code. Wait until button pressed, wait until button released, and it flashes green. And then the kids cheer. No idea what I was meant to do. <laughs> Next build. Okay, now we've added the distance meter. Let's see what this does. So when I hold down the button, it then turns on the distance sensor and shows me the distance on the app. Okay, only two builds to go. Then we can just do what we want. Chase bot. That sounds intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, we're not sure what the point of that one is. All right, let's go for the obstacle avoider. That's the most complicated one. Yeah, he's definitely avoiding that obstacle. Nah, 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 you come back. Run all you like, you'll never escape. 
<laughs> Interestingly, they've also included some Lego adapters. So you can attach these little panels to your robot and then build Lego on it. You can attach little minifigures to them, which is nice and all, but we don't really have that much Lego. In fact, one of the only things that I could find was a little alien minifigure. Fear your new alien overlords. <laughs> Destroy. Destroy. Destroy set. Destroy. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're doing so well. All right, let's actually see if we can make some code and actually do something with this thing. So as I said at the beginning of this video, there are free apps that you can use with this robot. You can use Robo Blockly, which is block coding. You can also use Robo Live, which is a lot simpler. It just has basic controls and sound buttons and stuff like that. And then you've got Robo Code, which is actually Robo Wonderkin's own coding software. Just select whichever element that you want to use. So we use a movement element. We'll just throw that right in there. And then if we want to follow that up with a sound, so say we want to use the ray gun sound right there, we'll then just click here and connect the two elements together. So you know, once it's done moving, it's then going to make a sound. And you can also adjust what each element does. So you can go into here and adjust if it goes forwards or backwards, you can adjust the speed. And then once that's all done, you can then just hit go. I just realized that I put the motors on the wrong way around. So let's just go ahead and throw a load of random things in here. There, to there, to there, to there, hit play. 360. Do you dare set off the alarm? Do you? Do you dare? Oh, there you go. Now you've done it. Let's add a spin into there. Just a little extra spin, a nice touch. You're just gonna spin around in a circle, right? Maybe, I feel like it's gonna fall over before it actually gets a full spin in. <laughs> Easy, pick up the speed. Oh no, oh alien, no, oh. <laughs> oh look at that, so elegant, such finesse. <laughs> it came with a wired connector, but I'm really not too sure what to do with it. How about if I... Yeah, I don't feel like this is a valid way to use the wired connector. It's like a robot horror film. I introduced you, Kebab Bot. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. Now I know I'm not the target audience for this robot kit. I know it's designed for kids to learn coding, learn about basic robotics, stuff like that. And though we only scratched the surface of things that you can do with this kit, you can do a lot more with it if you're more creative with your coding. I'm a very simple man. I just like my robots to go forwards, backwards, and knock things over. I think my dream robot kit is one with a flamethrower and a pickaxe for an arm. The blocks are really well built. I like the modular system that they've made. Everything just clicks together nicely. It's all very secure. It doesn't fall apart as you're using it. It's very much kid friendly. There's no small parts. It's not fiddly to use. And very much like the hardware, the software is also very easy to use. It has tutorials on how to use the different types of coding. The instructions are well laid out. They're really easy to follow so you can build robots in pretty much no time at all. And all in all, it's just a great and very accessible user experience. So if you have a kid that's interested in coding or basic robotics and you want a good place to start, you can't go wrong with a Robo Wonderkind Explorer kit. So as I said at the beginning of the video, we also have another Explorer Lite kit to give away. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning this kit right here, just check out the link in the description to our Instagram page where you can find all the details. Unfortunately, the giveaway is UK only, so sorry to our international viewers out there. But if you are in the UK, check out the link in the description. Maybe you'll win yourself one of these. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, Luna, George Acock, and Luke Rees on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. If you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page, where we are now uploading monthly exclusive content. Join us on our Discord server, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.